Hey guys, it's Ellie from Elsie Bell's Bookshelf. I'm back today with another journal share. This is not a custom. This is just something I've been working on for a while um, and something that I needed to make to prevent myself from getting burnt out on all my custom orders. I still have a lot to do. Um, yeah, so basically my schedule is like in the morning I wake up at 5. I do laundry, get the kids up for school. Um, after they leave for school, I have about an hour in between when they leave till my youngest wakes up and I have to get her ready for school. So during that hour, I send my emails, like my freebie emails, and um, I work on digitals. And that is pretty much the only time in the day that I have to do that. So after that, after she goes to school, I work on custom orders for like prints and ships and journals. And then around three o'clock, I'll ship those out at the... I gotta go to the post office. Yeah. So I go to the post office to ship those out, come home, kids are home, take my son to work, make dinner, all that good stuff. Sometimes the kids have to use the computer, so the computer's right by my work area, so I can't work. But after that, sometimes I'll have a few minutes to sit down and work on something like this. So very busy all day. Um, so anyway, instead of jabbering, I'm just gonna show you. This is like a Woodland Botanical Journal. So on the front here, I have this pretty little stamp with the fox, just some layers of fabric, and then that pretty botanical piece. There's no closure on this one. There's no tassel on this one. I love this fabric, and it's stitched all around. And the inside cover is this pretty cardstock, and so I used the whole 12 by 12 sheet, and I attached this big piece of fabric to it, folded it up, both the fabric and the cardstock, to make a pocket and uh, did some collaging on both sides to cover up any white spots. So in that pocket I have this pretty folder that's from my Nature's Record kit and it's got stamping and ink. I have a nameplate here from TLC. There's Fern Grain, Nature's Records, and TLC in here and some other people's. I'm like Antique Papery and someone else. I just can't remember their name right this second. Um, mushroom card. There's lots of tabs and fabric tabs. This is from Nature's Record. Just been backed with some vintage line paper, antique paper. I have um, some old design shop labels in here too, and a lot of her cards as well. So here's some place to journal and a botanical. Like I said, there's lots of stamping. Um, this is for Nature's Record. This is from Fern Green. Lots of fabric in here. This is from TLC. And on this little coin thingy. I have a little mushroom stamp. Lots of stuff hanging out. As you can see, I just love that look. Place to journal. This is one of my box tabs, or um, tags. My woodland tags. Um, forest. This might be TLC also. I'm going to put that there for that. There's a tree. Some journal cards in there. Some dyed paper. Lots of washi tape. This is from Nature's Record. Pretty background. Um, this is from Allure Books Craft. This is a book page that I tore out and then backed with some leftover fine paper for my elephant kit. Um, and that has an envelope underneath with some ephemera. And this has a leaf on it. So here's the other side of that bag. And then this beautiful dyed paper. I don't like, um, I didn't coffee dye this. I just sprayed it with the the um, sparkly colors that I had in blue, green, and gold, and this is what I came up with. So on this little half book page, I have some ephemera, some antique papery, some pretty uh, washi with mason jars. I'll show you. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Um, a place to journal with stitched lines. There's some vine stitching, a little piece of fabric, pretty dragonfly. This is from my gorgeous, gorgeous fern green kit. I love it so much. It reminds me of just walking through like a dense, dark forest with little bits of sunlight peeking through, and you can find that in my shop. Um, let's see some like leaf fabric. There's an owl. This background's from TLC. Lots of collaging, stamping, stitching, inking. This is from my um, painted florals ephemera kit. Here's another tab with a beautiful gemstone it's stuck on there. Some more stamping. And then there's 
there's some chain down here. Place the journal. Collaging. It's pretty much the same thing. Here's a time card I stamped and stitched on. And then I like drew hand drew these little curly cues, which I thought were kinda cool to put on there. I don't know why. It just came to me. Um, this is from Nature's Record. And there's an owl, and then here I have some fabric and then a piece of um, paper with stamp. I think it's coffee dyed paper or tea dyed. And oh, let me show you. This is one of the old design shops. Sorry about that. Um, cards. And I folded it over and stapled it on with some cool moss like material. journal cards. This is a center, isn't it? So pretty, right? Some more tabs and chain up there. Mushrooms. Collaging. I don't know why it's not. All of a sudden it doesn't want to focus right. Maybe that'll help. And this has a folded over. Folded over? Yeah. Journal card. <laughs> this is from Nature's Record. And then some more pretty dyed paper. You can see the sparkle. See? Love it. This is a little pocket. Another pocket. Little bunny I fussy cut and put here. This is from a greeting card. Put a little um, disc there also. The rest of that time card for journaling. Stamping. Another pocket. And a place to journal with stitched lines. Some more collaging here. There's a little squirrel in there. Has some buttons on it. Also places to write and make it your own, but also lots of goodness to look at. This is from um, the kit Forest Gems from Lindsay. And then inside I have Nature's Record and a scrap bit of paper for writing. Here's some pretty leaf washi down here on this beautiful fern green page. Look at the vine right here. I have some toads. And they're so cute. Another squirrel. Um, little half page again with some cards on it. This is from also from Lindsay's kit. I just folded it over. You can journal on the back. And then here I did a punch out so you could see some of the stamping like on this side and then also here <clears throat> guess check pretty washy chain this is a scrap piece from my fern green kit I printed it on cardstock by accident so I just kept it to make tags and stuff with some collaging Cool, um, like tie dye, sorry, silk from Victorian Gypsy Girl. This is a real piece of bank ephemera. This is from Nature's Music. Just a journal card. And then I put some vine stitching or collaging. This says stream, and then I put a, a card that has a stream on it there. Place to journal. And then we come to the end. And here you can see uh, where I collaged here, where the fabric has not quite reached the top. And then just a journal card. So I hope you guys like this. I do um, have one request. My friend James, a very good friend of mine that I've known for years and years, is in the hospital getting a kidney transplant. So if you all could just give him a little prayer, I would appreciate it. And I thank you so much for watching and supporting my shop. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.